so here is one example of how we can use this how we can apply this before we start with the example i want to remind you of a problem that probably you know very well <coughs> suppose there is a thread and there is a mass of let's say some object of mass m hanging here and you shoot a small bullet of mass small m we'll assume that the bullet doesn't do projectile motion it goes straight and goes and sticks what will happen now this guy will start to rise up because if it goes and sticks inside these two together have a velocity why do they have a velocity can i say that the energy of this guy let's say initial energy velocity was u can i say that the momentum of this guy becomes the momentum of the whole thing or can i say the energy of this guy becomes the energy of the whole thing or both are the same are both the same or both are not same both are not same you know that this guy's energy is half m u square if both had the same energy and this is wrong i'll say it is wrong and i'll write the statement okay if both had the same energy when it sticks together if it moves with a velocity v we will be writing half m plus m v square is half m u square and this is wrong why because this block initially when this thing enters in this fellow is going to travel and go till that place this when it is traveling inside there is a force exerted by this big sack of whatever maybe sand okay that is exerting a force here and this is exerting a force there same force f f right same amount of time so the <coughs> momentum contributed by f which is f into t you know impulse contributes momentum f into t on that small little thing it will be like this so this guy starts the little thing starts with u and ends up with v the sack starts with zero and ends up with v why does the sack go from zero to v m v final m u m zero initial is how much force because this force makes the sack move is force into time for that little thing the bullet initial momentum m u right final momentum m v and when we look at change we should do final minus initial so i should do m v minus m u change in momentum in this direction right is equal to minus f into t if we add this ft and minus ft will cancel so when i add this what will happen m plus m v minus m plus m so not m plus m minus mu small mu because capital m zero right that is zero this is zero which means i can write m u is equal to m plus m v and this is correct this is momentum conservation statement m u this had zero when they all moving together at the end they are moving with v so m plus m v is your final momentum m u is your initial momentum this is correct why is that wrong because like i wrote this equation if i wanted to write energy statement i should write work energy statement correct the statement is not this no it is actually work energy statement so if i write work energy statement i should write half m v square minus half m zero square is the work done by small f how much was the work done by small f f into some displacement s this fellow has moved from somewhere here to there this is s if i write the same thing for that small m it will be half 
एम वी स्क्वायर माइनस हाफ एम यू स्क्वायर इज द सेम एफ माइनस एफ बट इट इज नॉट द सेम एस इज इट नॉट द सेम एस बिकॉज द बुलेट एंटर्ड हियर द बुलेट डिड नॉट एंड हियर द बुलेट एंड समवेयर देर सो द बुलेट हैज मूव मच मोर डिस्टेंस देन द सैक ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज इफ इमेजिन दैट आई एम शूटिंग अ बुलेट द बुलेट एंटर्स हियर बाय द टाइम इट कम्स आउट द बुलेट इज समवेयर देर राइट एट दी टूवर्ड्स दी एंड बाय द टाइम इट स्टॉप्स so the bullet has gone from here to there whereas this point has moved only this much because the bullet moved extra this much so it's moving inside this block also which means it has moved s1 which is different from s if we add we will get this is the final energy this is the initial energy kinetic energy but this unfortunately does not become zero this becomes zero because time for the bullet is equal to time for the block bullet and block have the same time the force acts for the same time but the force does not act over the same distance <coughs> so what can we conclude we can conclude momentum is conserved energy is not conserved but i'm hoping you guys have already done this right so you know that in this case momentum conservation very critical energy no as long as the forces are equal and opposite and there are no external forces if there are no external forces automatically momentum is conserved why all internal forces are action reaction forces they all act for the same amount of time therefore action reaction will cancel out because f into t will cancel out but aren't forces action reaction for displacement for work done no they are action reaction the forces are equal but the displacements are not equal if i am pushing you for 5 seconds you are pushing me for 5 seconds but if you move 10 meters i don't have to move 10 meters but 5 seconds 5 seconds is equal 10 meters 10 meters is not equal because i can move 2 meters you can move 10 meters so therefore what happens is displacements are not equal so forces do not cancel out here the forces do not add up to basically become fs work done is not zero whereas the impulse is zero so if external forces are not there or overall net external impulse is zero internal impulse will anyway be zero but you can't be very sure that internal work done is zero by the internal forces internal forces can do work if internal forces couldn't do work i can't walk because all the work that is being done is by internal forces i do need external forces for me to walk okay but i don't need external energy for me to walk the floor doesn't give me energy i walk because i can convert internal energy into kinetic energy for my body because internal forces can do work they can't give me momentum but they can do work okay they can give me energy so i hope that idea is clear the main idea that we use here is that when these two are colliding this force and that force are equal and opposite and this force and this force may be equal may not be equal we don't care okay but these are not going to be very large and the time for collision is almost zero so that means the momentum contributed by the vertical forces here we are going to claim is zero so horizontal momentum anyway vertical forces won't cause horizontal momentum so we directly use that idea to quickly equate momentum and continue i hope the idea is simple and clear okay